It's Warcraft Day. Come play with us this game. Hey everybody, this is Stormy with the Capital Z coming back at you with another replay request. This will be from the replay request series where anybody and everybody is welcome to send me replays to know more about how you can do so. You can join the Discord server, link to that, which panel and in the description below. We got Sav70, also known as Savage, and also known as Rook spawning in over here, top right, as uh, Red Night Elf. Have a look at his profile. So, this is Sav. He has his own Twitch and YouTube as well. Uh, I'll add that link to that in the description of something as well, so you guys can check it out. It's about 1600 1v1 diamond. Diamond 6. Has played the total number of. Total number of games. 362. Okay, maybe a lot more than mine. Participated in the seventh and eighth season of Champions, and currently the ninth season is going on. Going in for Demon Hunter. Pull up the for a opponent over here. A opposing player. That is the replay question. Call him question and opposing that. Jaud over here going in for blade map. All right, so we got a lucker fan over here. You could say in a way going in for blade in bottom left uh, yellow orb and Sam just sent out one of his this there uh, Sam just mentioned something about and the remix for her three music. Yes, that's actually music from heroes of storm Absolutely love that and some wow music there as well. Plenty to uh, put in more there. It appears that Sav has begun the creeping, so let's quickly cover up Jaoud's uh, axe here. Open up his profile over here on my phone as well because I can't see it. He's apparently from Kuwait. 30 years old, our 30 year old friend Jaoud over here. Has the MR of 1638, Diamond 5, and pretty much it to talk about him, it appears. Don't really have any links to his Twitch or YouTube, so at Blade Master heading in towards Sav's base, gonna go after those wisps one by one. This is actually gonna be a pretty good treat over here, uh, as we get to see classic or, uh, versus classic Demon Hunter Blade Master. Blade Master can walk right behind her there. I don't really think being near Demon Hunter is a really good choice for him though because he's gonna have his mana burn be far away from his possible, be far far away, take out the Wisp and he might actually take out the Wisp. That's gonna hurt Sav a bit. Just a bit though but he's definitely gonna hurt him and oh no 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 he managed to take out another Wisp. That's definitely gonna hurt Sav. Doubt needs to escape now. He did all the damage he could and uh, he doesn't have any more wind walks but it appears to me that he is not done yet. He's gonna cancel the construction on that single moon well and then push back there. I must say, this guy is doing well and he's coming back as uh, Sam tries to kind of wall off his base there. But uh, there's no mana on that Blade Master. There. What's he gonna do? How's he gonna escape the Demon Hunter? How's he gonna escape? The yeah, exactly. How's he gonna escape? There's, there was no way. There was no way he was gonna escape that. That was an or extension there by Jowd for sure. Who had sort of a good start, managed to take out two wisps, and uh, that kind of left Sav with seven. Oh, yeah, seven. Exactly seven wisps over there. He would have definitely uh, be feeling the need for the extra wood there, but right now Sav managed to kind of close that gap, being able to take out the hero for J uh, Jaud there. It's gonna have be suffering a bit. Considering the fact that he has to revive his hero and uh, all this time that he would have rather spent creeping was not done in doing so. Sav has a strong level 2 hero with two uh, good items I must say, Mantle of Intelligence and the Gloves of Haste. Both can work out really good with the Demon Hunter perhaps, uh, Gloves of Haste of course increasing the DPS. Jaud is about to, yeah, oh my god, terrible Jaud, that's just terrible, oh you did it again, come on! 
Oh my goodness, this is just not Jaud's day from what I see. He made some mistakes over here, rather detrimental ones, because uh, this was a big amount of experience that uh, he kind of killed off. Sure, you can just kind of improvise, but really, I mean, really just killing the creep using your uh, lightning shield and blade method should have been a bit more careful. Really need to be a bit more careful there. Um, as he going in for the Cobalt camp, uh, Sav notices this and Sav wants to make Jao pay for the early aggression, perhaps go in towards his base, uh, although Sav's hero is like 50%, he needs to be a bit careful there, doesn't want to end up losing it or something, as Jao is, he's just, uh, they're creeping, he doesn't really want to come back, try to engage the demon hunter just yet. I guess that was a good choice, considering the fact that kind of had to back out after the burrows uh, got burrowed into the there. We got some ancient of winds coming in by Sav right now, and a second hero. Curious, Beef Master. All right, this is gonna be like classic idol versus classic work. I love it. Absolutely love it. This is <laughs> this is the Warcraft that I've lived and grown up with. Classic Nidal versus Classic War. Seen this a million times. Seen this a million times, and it brings me back to one of the best matches that I've seen: Grubby versus Remind. One of the best series from um yeah, not that WCG. Yeah, WCG was the biggest tournament. Happened anymore? No. For Warcraft. We have Jaud going in for more creeping. It appears to me that Jaud happens to be just as old school as I am. Looking at all of his old school stuff, old school uh, methodology of approaching Warcraft. Level 3 Demon Hunter. Um, no TP though. Exactly need a TP to be able to actually just get back to his base, considering the fact that he has it kind of completely attack. walled in there. Production buildings are at the back. Ancient of War will manage to defend it for as long as uh, Sab may need to kind of run back to the base. They must be lurking around, can't go inside the base unless until he tries to do that item trick. And poor had been a steal. This one's gonna be one. It must have takes down the cobalt. A player's forces are under attack. Hunter going in for some creeping towards the north while the blade master lurks around. Picks up a potion of invul. He's ready. Got shaman training. No raiders. So Jowl's going. All the way with the uh, grunts and shamans. Not exactly sure if I'm really agreed with the decision. Since Sav has good of the talents coming and Jaud knows about it as he just lost his wind walk there. Goes in again, but he revealed himself to Sav. So Sav knows something is fishy, he needs to be a bit more careful than uh, what he was. Perhaps pick up himself a dust of appearance. Dust of appearance. People kind of forgot dust appearance is still a thing because <laughs> Blade Master is no longer a thing, so people kind of just forgot. Okay, we can actually buy a dust appearance for 75 gold from the Goblin Merchant. Definitely can do that. Definitely can do that. And Sam definitely haven't forgotten that. As he does that, uh, uses it just to make sure that the blade is not around. <laughs> blade is so weak. He didn't really engage with the. He didn't just engage with the creeps there. Kind of aggroed the creeps, got his blade hurt, and then just uh, fought himself with the surf. Sure, what's he up to for real? Like, a circer? I mean, unit. Three um, food. Good damage there, and the bloodless can deal a lot more damage, I guess. Kill the mage and got devotion or 
Oh, oh damn it. Damn it, Stormy, you're the caster. You're the one that's supposed to be <laughs> noticing that. <laughs> Not exactly it's sure there. Yeah, just taking my shots at Jao without actually, you know, uh, looking up that. So he actually might get the kill on the Renegade Wizard there to get the level uh, big item. He picked up himself a Tinker. Okay, since he knows that the Nidal player is going to go for a Tinker, likely, looking at this old school push. Nidal players go for a Beastmaster and Tinker, along with a lot of uh, Rudy the Talents. He just kind of had to happen to have that idea there. And uh, I like that he has the Hawk up into the air. It can be leveled up at level 3 for the Beastmaster. Can attack as well. Main purpose is, of course, to detect the Blade Master. But that hawk. And we have a lot of damage going down. Just right click on the building you want with that pocket factory, and those clockwork goblins will just go and explode on them. Well, attack them first and then explode on death. Clockwork goblins are gonna be exploding on death there, so now we gotta be a bit careful. But uh, we got Clockwork Goblin from Zara Jowd as well, so I'm going to tackle that as well. Bloodless going down, but uh, can we purge these? I'm pretty sure you can purge these. Purge them down. He's going to purge the Hawk though. Those units are in the air. Jowd is losing on so much DPS because of units in the air. Fairy Fire finally going down. I see a lot of use of the Fairy Fire just yet. Just one Fairy Fire on that Shaman. A pretty good spell, you definitely want to have it on units. Sam is currently focusing the units. Beastmaster, a bit weak, going to be stamped, weak, going to be stamped back. Shadow Hunter for Chow, would make it kicking out? Nope, just gonna run away. More and more grunts dying. And that Blade Master, like, isn't even getting the opportunity to participate in this fight. Just being tossed up into the air there. Now, uh, Sam lived with a minimum number of units, I must say, forced to use the TP and back out lightly there. Well, despite of a lot of mistakes uh, over here, Jaud managed to at least force the TP and managed to buy himself a little more time. Serpent Wards is his priority. He didn't go for the heal. This is something Sam can do if you think about it. Probably notice he got Hex. Probably saw the sentry ward. He definitely saw. Since there's no healing, even if there's some mana on the shadow hunter, he can feel a bit safe when trying to attack any unit. It's not healed. If he tries to target not the hero, that's. Or three food of an arm. This is a lot of units if you think about it. Or forty-three food. Taking to no upkeep, get 100% from him. And the Blade Master, though, he's gonna get the kill on one of those channels, perhaps. He's gonna back out, and yeah, there we go. They, like, this is something Jowd's a bit sloppy with. He just manages to reveal the Blade Master's position. Like, if you know it's about to time out, to be hit away from the opponent, not let them know you're there. Uh, Sam now getting himself a hawk. I'm sure if he had it earlier though. Just summoned it. Just summoned it. Kill it. Out from the... Is that an expansion? It's not an expansion just yet. It's just some towers. For defending the expansion. Which may just be coming in. Point. Considering the fact that orc players can just buy a tiny raid hall. Have an instant expansion. But Sam wants none of that as he's pushing in with all he got. Now, what Jao could do is perhaps redirect the fire onto the Talons. Yeah, just like that. Talons are gonna take massive damage from those towers, and the towers, be having the fortified armor, can survive for as long as they did. A player's forces are under attack. He attacked the Talons there early on, and if Sam did not manage to save them. He would have at least managed to take out three talent. That would have been huge for Sav. 
immediately behind the other heroes uh, creep with the Tinker. Pull up, there we go. A player's forces are under attack. coming back to his base. They have the red camp left and it doesn't seem like either of the players wants a piece of that. Sam definitely wouldn't want to go there considering that his entire army can't attack it and his heroes can attack. And that may not be enough firepower perhaps but it beats me. Heroes tossed into the air. Purge. You only have so many purges though if you think about it. But you have a lot more Cyclones than you have Purge. Disenchant would have been a better option compared to this. Lightning Shield. Sam needs a Purge now. Speed Spell popped in. But he isn't exactly using it. These aren't exactly looking good for Jaud. May end up losing his. Demon Hunter, well, Sam is the one that may end up losing his Demon Hunter. Doubt finally pushing in and taking down Talons one by one, I must say. Although he lost the majority of his army. Only has like uh, the casters in the back of the heroes left. Demon Hunter is weak for Sam. That needs to get away! So weak, Blade Master heading in, and the Demon Hunter will go down eventually. Will avenge that kill with the Tinker level 3. He's still staying in there. Hex on the Tinker though. And he wants to take out the Talons first, it appears. Talons are going down. Not at all good for Sam here. Tinker goes down. Demon Hunter is back from the sh Probably. Talon's coming in. I believe it would be real time for each of the players to think about an expansion. I have kind of already foiled one. That was already had it. Gold mine's gonna expire sooner than later. Perhaps have something coming in. Down it comes down. You have it down. Use it. If it doesn't, it doesn't. We all... Please don't know what they want to do. They shouldn't just attack. Just there. Triggered detonation. They had the vision up to that point. After that, they wouldn't have had it. Now, this is one thing that, you know, I was actually thinking. Out of a wild strategy. After a point of the game, when you like have a 50 foot army, or maybe more than 50 foot, a single base, why not just do this? Just, just do this. Like, this is only functional for human and orc, though. I would say. Just do this, like, send all of your Lumberjacks, maybe just keep like one Lumberjack back at the base so that you have some sort of Lumber coming in, but if you have like more than 700 Lumber and you already like have everything down, I don't think you need more Lumber. Just have some long distance mining though. I have some extra gold in the tank coming in, some gold that you wouldn't naturally have, and can actually use that for something, although like it is a long distance mining. It's gonna matter slightly, but that slightly may just be enough. As uh, we have a lot of Serpent Wards going down, like this is yikes man, the Serpent Wards are gonna be doing so much damage there. They're all targeting down the Beastmaster. 
run down. Take the four. Jiao mega taken out. Nope, gonna use the potion of heal. Staff back to the base. Lightning shield going down. The blade master. The blade master potion of invul going down. It's only got seven seconds to escape though. And this is why you need healing on it. This is why you need healing on the shadow hunter, but. But the, by the looks of it, it appears to me this game fully but slowly going in the hands of Sav. We should take out the Shadow Hunter level 4. Ready to push in. Bring that hawk with him. Despite not having enough. Okay, so I actually noticed this long distance mining. Do something about it. Like, this is the only danger, of course, if you do this long distance mining process, which I can't go Do we have a tower or two in place so that Eons can kind of hide behind a tower? Probably easier to set up than the expansion. Or maybe not. Let's just not, let's just not talk about it. Icon's going down. Grilla Talons need to focus down units. Demon Hunter almost down. Some range attack on it though. And will survive with the Demon Hunter. Talons can actually purge it. That will slow it down. Then uh, enable Joe to catch him. A player's forces are under attack. Looking for Sav is weak. Purge being used. Trying to stop the hero there, the Thinker. A lot of Cyclone. The War of Spells, I must say. Sav has that. Rather, uh, Doubt has that Pocket Factory. I just want to use it, rather than have to waste it. I would explode all over those talents, heal it. as much as AoE damage as you can, and take them down one by one. We also need that both players lost their gold mines, neither of them have the expansion. So whoever wins this fight is likely going to win the game. Beastmaster will take out the blade. Bought a potion of heal but couldn't use it on time. And it was a great game there. That game, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks. If you have enjoyed what you have seen, hit the like. Just like always, in your he is Warcraft. They come play with us this game.